Friday the 4th, I want to say, 5th, Friday the 5th. Um, I, it is currently about 8.50, about to be 9 o'clock in the morning, which I never get up this early. I mean, I do, but I never leave my bed this early. Um, I'm on my way to this local bakery to pick up um, this, it's like a Three Kings bread or whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, I have to go pick it up since we pre-ordered it. And I'm excited, even though I shouldn't be eating that because it's so sweet and so bad for you. But we're gonna wait till tomorrow and I'm only gonna have a little piece, but I do have to go pick it up right now. I said I was gonna go pick it up at nine. So, we shall see. And then, what else am I doing today? Um, I'm gonna get some editing done. I have to work. And, I don't know, we shall see what else there is for today. So I just got it and it's, well my hair is a mess, and this is what it looks like. For those of you who don't know, I don't know if you guys can see through the plastic, it is so good and it goes all the way around like that. It is so so good, especially like with coffee or hot chocolate, so good. But those calories a little rough so now I'm gonna go home and make some breakfast and start working because I'm starving and your girl has a lot to do so we shall go so it is currently 2 52 and I've been home I ate some lunch I just had a salad it was pretty good but I went to the unveil box and I got a couple things. So I want to show you guys what I got. I threw away the box before. Okay. I threw away a box for this because I didn't realize I was going to vlog this. But it is from ColourPop and it just came with this. It says, wishing you a lit year XOXO ColourPop. Which they always have the cutest cards. I've ordered stuff from them like once or... I don't know if it was twice or three times. But love that and then I got this little set it says ColourPop which I love the packaging and it's the Staycation Best of La Bixa collection and it has the colors Cookie, Brick, Grunge, LBB and I love this and Bossy. So I think this was a really good deal um I'll leave the link down below of everything but this was when everything was like on sale I don't know if it still is but this was only like 15 bucks and you get all of these slippies and I love how it has like the little mirror it's super cute um uh, it has all these slippies um and I'm sure I'll use them in a video for you guys but I want to show you guys um this all these slippies and they're usually like five or six dollars each so I thought it was a great deal to get all of this and then I got the yes please palette which I've been wanting to get for the longest time because I heard it's kind of like the dupe for the even though it has a little bit like less shades it's the dupe for the what's it called the Natasha Denona one and I like the packaging um, so it just says cute AF color pop I like how pretty those shades are and in the back of the box it says all of them. So I guess this is full sip, big cocktails, champs, uh, bling, bluey, butter cake, spoiled, GNO, mischief, note to self, chauffeur, and French kiss. And I honestly love this. I can't wait to play with this. It is super pretty. It also kind of reminds me of the Kylie, Cosme Kylie Cosmetics palette. 
can't remember what it was called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And then, um, with an order of 50 or more, they were giving this palette away, which is really cool. I'm excited to try it. Um, and I think this was only like $10 because it was on sale. I think they're normally like, I don't know if it's 12 or 16. I think the 16s are these bigger ones. So it says Golden State of Mind. And it has all these super pretty shimmery colors, which I love to try. Um, and it just has on the back. So for this one, it does have them on the back. This one, oh yeah, it does too. Okay, I, I didn't know, I didn't realize that. I thought it was just on the box. So yeah, and then, what else? Oh, okay. So then I got the other I Love Sarai ColourPop collection. She just came out with this one too because she had other lippies. And I'm super excited to try hers because I feel like she's like one of the ones that makes like the best collabs. And I just really like it. So then it's this one which is the Ultra Matte Lip in Softy. Softy? Soft, softy? Yeah, softy. So it is really pretty. Um, let me see. I can swatch for you guys. So it is a brown ish color. It's really pretty. And then I think these two are lip glosses. Oh no, this is Ultra Metallic Lip. Which metallic lips always are like really cool to play with. I only have a couple of metallic lipsticks, which I love to top on them. But honestly, this might just be a fun color by itself. This is in the color... Co I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. Does it focus? Coquette. There we go. I don't know how to say it. And then this one, I honestly, this is the only reason I got this set because I saw this and it's the Ultra Glossy Lip in Atole and it's just the prettiest shimmery color but it is clear as well. It has like an undertone. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't think you can really see it right there. But let me show you guys. It is just beautiful. So I got that. And then the last thing, which I'm super excited to try, is the color Pop Luster Dust, which is like their um, loose highlighters. Which I wanted to try the Kylie ones because I heard such good things about it. But then I heard these are even better and cheaper, obviously. And I got in the color Gnomi, Gnomi, I don't know how to say that, they have the weirdest names, but I'm excited to try it, um, it is still closed, so I can't really swatch it for you guys right now, that's it for Colourpop, but I ordered stuff from Victoria's Secret, um, they had their semi-annual sale, they had their semi-annual sale, so I was really excited about that. And I just got some workout leggings because they have like the best ones too besides Lululemon. But I got them from Victoria's Sport. Yeah. Because the pink ones I don't really like for some reason. Um, and they were only like 12 bucks each. Which is crazy because normally they're... I want to say like... I don't know like... 60 or something like that. Okay, so it seems like they're the same color, but one is like a crop and has pockets, which is kind of why I got it. I don't know which one it is. Um, um, no, these, okay. So these were $12, and I, I think this is it, the cropped ones. Let me see. No, okay, so these long ones were $12, and I just thought they were cute just to wear them to the gym and stuff and then i ordered these cropped ones which were a little bit more they were 20 bucks or 24 20 oh no there were 
which isn't a lot for how much they usually are. And I got these because it has like a little pocket so you can put your phone, which I wanted so bad. Especially the Lululemon ones, but the Lululemon ones are like 120 or something with those pockets. So I just thought I would work with these right now. Um, so I'm starting to do my makeup and get ready because um, I'm not sure if we're going to go eat, have dinner, but we're going to go, me and Chris are going to go watch a movie and stuff. So, I want to put a little bit of makeup on now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just cleaning my face right now with the Garnier Micellar Water. The waterproof one it works really good. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and then just for my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So yeah, we're gonna go watch the, I think The Greatest Showman, I think that's what it's called. We've been wanting to watch Coco, but the last showing is at 4 o'clock, which is already like 4.20. Um, so... And I don't really like to go watch, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really like to go watch movies in the afternoon. I like to do that more at night. Because, like, around this time, I feel like I get really sleepy. And I don't actually pay attention. And I don't know, I just always go to the movies at night time. So, yeah. Either that or, like, earlier in the evening, like, at 12 noonish. I really just like to stick with going during the night time. So, yeah. Um, I'm excited, kind of, not really, um, about school starting. It starts this upcoming Tuesday, the 9th, I think it's, yeah, I think it's the 9th. Um... So I only have like three weeks of break, which is so crazy because I feel like last year I had like a month and a half because I was literally gone for a month and a half. So I don't know, maybe because I don't really know what, but damn, I'm almost out. Good thing I have a backup, but yeah, I'm excited about school starting. Um, in the sense that I don't want it to start because in the sense of actual school, but in the sense of just getting back on the grind, I like, I hate just being home and stuff. I like being a little bit more productive and having like my schedule set, you know, even though it's nice sometimes to just chill, but I don't know, maybe it's just me, but yeah, okay, so now my eyebrows are done and To prep my face, I'm using the No Problem primer. Using my Beauty Blender, I'm gonna use, um, this is like kind of like my everyday foundation, I wanna say, um, is the NARS, um, all day luminous weightless foundation pretty much um and i'm in the shade barcelona so i'm just trying to blend that out nicely I put a tiny bit just because I'm not trying to be like super glam right now I mean I'm just hanging out with Chris and stuff but you never know I freaking run into a lot of people all the time also I feel like doing my makeup because I haven't like all week except for I think it was yesterday when I filmed but it was like a tiny bit of makeup so Sometimes it's just nice to put on makeup. Mm. 
so yeah as i was saying i'm excited uh i'm excited to start school just because the classes i'm taking i feel like they're not too hard so for those of you wondering i'm majoring in business at least i think so um and i'm taking macroeconomics some speech class which that's gonna be like my hardest thing because i hate public speaking which is so weird because i do this but i mean i don't know i don't really like it and then what else am i taking geography because it's just one of the requirements my basics and then this is course which is like an online course for like business majors and it's like computer based i don't fucking know and then what else am i taking i'm taking another class oh on politics u.s politics texas politics that's what i'm taking um so it shouldn't be too much work but then again it's college so there's always tons of work um last semester i took business math which was really hard and i took business math women's studies which i honestly ended up in that class like accidentally because it was like the last thing left and i needed like 12 credits um and i ended up loving that class it was just really fun and like a bunch of things we didn't know um, then I'm setting my face with this banana powder from Bella Pierre. So yeah, I love that class. It was tons of fun. Um, you learn a lot of things that you would never think. And just a lot of history and like just how the system works, which is just really crazy. But it's a good class. I'd recommend taking it. I mean, of course, like, it depends on the professor and stuff, but I still find it kind of interesting. Um, especially because there was a bunch of guys in that class, which is so weird, you would never think. But it is an awesome class. It was more, like, discussion and stuff like that, which is always fun rather than just lecture. Um, so I'm baking a little bit in that, too. For my bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced. This is not really a bronzer, it is a foundation, like a, what's it called, powder foundation, but I use it as my bronzer because I think it's like really warm tone and it reminds me a lot of the um, chocolate soleil, I think that it's called, and this one, it smells a little bit like chocolate actually, which is funny. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using for my bronzer. So yeah, it was a really fun class. I recommend taking it. If you like need it just for like an extra credit, it's pretty easy. It's really like discussion and what you think and stuff like that. Um, you do have to read, but I mean, it's college. You have to read for like every other class, like every single class mostly. Um, so yeah, I really like this, honestly. I know it's like a foundation, but it works for me for just bronzing, like really like tan, which I like, especially right now during the winter time when there's like no tanning, no sun. Um, what else did I take? Women's studies, business, anthropology was just not terrible, but so boring. Um, and microeconomics. So now I just have to take macro and I would be done with my economics things. And I just use fluffy brush and just blend it all out. And I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay and Parte. That's what it's called, Parte. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for school to start just do a little bit better this semester and get my GPA up. 
last semester was a little rough, not gonna lie. But there was just so much going on, honestly. Um, then for highlight, I'm gonna use the Becca, what's it called? Vanilla Quartz. I actually got this yesterday at Sephora. It's like the mini one. But the lady told me it was like a limited edition. Like they only have it in the small ones. That's what I got. It is really, really pretty. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, I'm excited because me and Chris have a class together, which I would never think because he's like not majoring in that at all. Um, so we have geography, which is just like one of our basic classes, but that should be fun because I feel like I'm never going to see him because of our work schedules and school and stuff. So yeah, um, I'm just going to school Tuesday, Thursdays just because it makes it a lot easier on me than going to campus every day even though it's just like 10 minutes away from my house. But it's still like time, you know. Okay, so that's what I'm wearing. Oh, it is so pretty. Okay. And then for my, I'm just going to wear some mascara and a little bit of eyeliner. I'm going to use the Voluminous by L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I've been using this nonstop. Love it. Recommend it. Go get it. Um. So yeah, I'm really excited about the semester. There's a lot of fun things happening this semester. My sister is getting married, so that should be fun. And then, of course, spring break, which I still haven't planned yet, but I'm sure I'm going to do something fun, hopefully. I always say that every year, but hopefully something fun. And I'm going to try my best to film for you guys a lot more. Even if it's pre-filming, like, I want to get this, like, at least once or... I want to do my goal for this year is to do it twice, twice, upload twice a week for you guys. Um, so yeah, even if it's just vlogs, I'm going to be a lot of vlogging. I finally got my vlogging camera, which I'm using right now, which I'm super excited about. Um, so yeah, I, I was using my phone before, which was kind of a little bit of a hustle because I never have space in that thing. So. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and film more for you guys. I just love doing this, honestly. It's like such a fun thing to do for me, like my hobby, my side thing. But I want it to become like a main thing, of course. Um, but of course, with school, college, it gets so stressful, and that's another reason kind of why I decided to do Tuesday, Thursday. So after like work and everything I'm doing besides like studying etc I can focus some days on editing and um filming which is always important because before I used to go to school every single day including Fridays which was insane so yeah that's what I'm doing um I'm gonna I have a little bit right there I'm gonna clean it once it's dry that's what I'm doing and then I'm gonna set my face, but I don't want to set it until that is done. So yeah, I don't know if I should do my hair or just leave it. I think I'm gonna pin it back if I can find it somewhere in here. I always have an extra one, like extra pins in my bag. But it's pretty hard to find stuff in this freaking bag because there's stuff everywhere. There's just a lot of crap. Oh, this is what I want to try. Okay, I'll show you guys. I forgot about that. Okay, so yesterday I got a. I use. I usually need to plump my lips. I use the Too Faced. Lip Extreme, I think that it's called. But yesterday, I got this Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. I heard it's, like, the best in the market. 
It was a pricey. It was like 30 bucks. But the one, the full size on the Too Faced is like almost $30. So I was just like, it doesn't really matter. I'll just try it. I use the Make It Last by Milani. Love how it smells. It's just so fresh. Love it. And then for my lips, I'm using this. And I don't know, should I put like a lipstick? Should we just keep it very nude? I think we should just keep it nude. So this is what it looks like. I love the packaging, it's so nice. So let's see how it works. Oh, I feel like it is really nude. Oh, it's starting to tinkle already. I definitely think I will use this a lot more to top it off with other things rather than itself. I don't really like, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really like clear lip gloss. Okay, so for my outfit, I am wearing this uh just plain tea from bp out nordstrom and then these high-waisted uh pants that are like stretchy right here khakis they seem a little wrinkled but i don't know why because i did i promise guys they weren't wrinkled i guess just from wearing them all day um these are from top shop so that's what i'm wearing and then these are my stan smiths and then I'm just wearing my little Tiffany & Co. necklace and my Michael Kors watch and just my hair up like this. That's what I'm wearing right now. And then I'm going to be using this Madewell bag that my friend Fernanda got me. So shout out to you, Fern. And yeah, this is what my outfit looks like today. Pretty cute, pretty simple. So, yeah, guys, this is what we are doing. So, it is currently 6 o'clock. Um, we went to go get dinner um, at this, like, Mongolian place. So, we had this, like, little dinner. Instead of, like, lunch break, it's, like, a dinner break, whatever. A little break, whatever. Um, and then, once he gets off work, we're going to go watch a movie. But... Um, I have to go to the bank and deposit some money and then go home and finish laundry and cleaning and everything like that. So, yeah, it's going to be just pretty chill right now. I'm going to have like three more hours until he gets off work and I have to go um, meet him and stuff or pick him up since I'm using his car right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's gonna be just a pretty chill night, date night, just watching some movie, just watching a movie, I can't talk. So it is about nine o'clock and I'm gonna go um, pick up Chris and we're gonna go watch a movie, so I'm excited about that. Um, I didn't really change, I'll show you guys what I'm doing right now. So I just, I'm wearing the same pants. I changed shirts to a long sleeve because it's really cold outside and I also got soy sauce from earlier on my shirt, of course. It wouldn't be a regular day if I didn't. And then I got this oversized um, jean jacket from Topshop. That's what I'm wearing and still have my sneakers. Same pants, same everything. And I just put my hair up in a ponytail just because, I don't know, it was in the way honestly and i just didn't like it now um for my lips i'm wearing <sighs> it's a new of those lippies um it is cookie by ColourPop, and i topped it with the dior one that i showed you guys earlier there you go, it's first vlog I don't okay, know. First of all, dude. Well, the one I'm holding. Hold on. Be professional here. Can you even see? Probably not. I don't know. 
and there was light. That's how you get that warm filter right there. All right, so here we are, January fifth. Babe, babe, the the vlog started this morning, so we don't have to state the day. Oh no, I'm stating the day. January fifth. It's my first time on this vlog, okay. so it just became important. It became special. <laughs> Everything before was irrelevant. All right. Yeah. Sure. Rule number one: Don't ever let her drive. It's just terrifying moments. Terrifying things happen. I'm a better driver She's than driving you. my car. I'm a better driver than you. How many accidents? All of them? I got hit, dude. Don't fucking... Yeah, you attract the accidents. Like me. See, exactly. I'm the accident. so I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Slightly broken, a little mentally unstable, but we're here. Yeah, so it wasn't my fault. No. Okay. Well, hey, there we go. I have zero that were not my fault or fault. Okay. You're just rude. You want to get some popcorn? Yes. We're, going, we're at the movies right now. Okay, so we're gonna, what are we gonna watch? Greatest Show on Earth. Greatest Show Man. I knew it was an autobiography. So, <laughs> 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 we're gonna watch that right now, and I think that's all we're doing tonight. Yeah, no, we're pretty much 40 year olds and 20 some year old I'm bodies. Exhausted. Yeah, we work today. Adulting sucks. It really sucks. I hate it. If anyone in high school ever sees these videos, just enjoy. Don't don't ever leave. It's a trap. Just stay in high school. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. The plus there's, a, you know, there's legal alcohol after high school, but that's about it. I'm sure that'll get edited out. No comment. Yeah. All right, folks. We got to get going. I'm starving. I need fatty foods in my system. Popcorn sounds really good. So good. We're totally going to cheat this diet right now. But, all right, guys. Stay tuned. So, we just got out of the movie. What do we think? It was good. I liked it. And then we also learned that we're cows. Let's not talk about that. All I'm going to say is we ordered an extravagant amount of food at the movie theater. No, that's not true. That's like ordering a shit ton of food at Disneyland. That's not true. I had to pull a loan and sell a kidney for that. It was cool though. <laughs> Kidneys are going for 150000 Anyways, we watched The Greatest Showman and it was super good. That was so good. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. And it's really cute. And it's really cute. I think she went, aww. Easily eight times. Eight times? I only cried twice. I don't think that's how it works. Nah, I didn't. I literally had to suffer from crying. But it was good. Really good movie. Hugh Jackman, Zendaya, her other love, Zac Efron. I mean, it had the whole thing. It was good. I liked it. I definitely recommend it, guys. We did get We did. Jack. That's where Barnum Circus isn't a thing anymore. And by we, I mean. Yeah, no, apparently I picked bad movies. Yeah, last time he picked a Rubicon, it we, was... We no, picked it, but she No, you me. picked it. No, I offered. It was, it I offered. was terrible. I was the like, entire what time do you I think? And you're like, him, like what babe, the that looks great. I like that. Wow. Wow, it smells so bad. You got that on recording, too? Yeah. Is that smoke? No, 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 it's too cold. It's just smoke. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, the... What, the 6th? Yeah, the 6th. Yeah, the 6th. It is early. It's like 10.30, but... By early means... But early. We were up late last night. Yeah. So... We're being responsible adults, shopping. Not shopping, grocery shopping, and paying bills. We're at Costco right now, and we have to run a couple more errands. So. Don't grow up, kids. It sucks. I feel like you say that in every vlog. Yeah. I'm a, I need everyone to know every day. Just don't do it. Anyways, we're here at Costco to get dog food for the puppy. She's not feeling good. Yeah, and then we're going to go to Petco to get her some medicine. What else are we doing? 
Her stomach literally sounded like, I don't even know, like, just some like really fucked up concert. It was like, I've never think, seen me make those sounds I don't again. think that's a thing. That's exactly what it sounded like. I was there. It was real. Anyways, we're at Costco. We're gonna run some errands, so. Hey guys, so it is currently, what time is it? Three. I want to show. 337. 337. Um, I'm starving. All I had for breakfast this morning was my little shake, protein shake. Um, I got some Starbucks. It is a skinny vanilla latte with soy milk and only one shot of espresso because I don't need that much caffeine. Then I get all freaking jittery. Then I also, I want to show you guys, I got this really cute cup from Starbucks. It has like, it's yellow, which I love the color yellow, by the way. And it has these, like, ice. It's super cute. And it was only, like, 11 bucks. So I'm excited about that. And I'm starving. So let's see what we shall make. So this is what my salad turned out like. And I just had... I'm having some water. Um, yeah, I usually don't like eating in the dining room or whatever. Because I feel like no one's ever here, so I have to freaking eat by myself, and I don't like that. Or I'd rather watch some YouTube videos while eating. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. 